there and welcome back to Wet Lines. You join me, Ian Baker, down on the bank. As you can see, if you're familiar with the venue, I am down at Cottington and I'm on Old Pepper. Bit of a sub story to this. Uh, I thought I was booked on New Pepper. Been excited all week thinking, oh, what swim am I going to go to? Got here this morning, just before seven, so I'm waiting at the gate. Check the ticket or, you know, an online thing. Boom, no, I've booked Old Pepper. So here we are. Let's hope that's fate. Let's hope that means something. So we're on Old Pepper. I had the lake to choose from when I got here. So because I've never fished it, I've gone for swim number eight. That's the way, if you're aware of the venue, it's the very furthest one along. It's just next to the uh, entry back and forward between new and old. So that's where we are. That is my swim. This is what I'm working with. So I've not long, literally just got both my rods out. Sticking to exactly what I know. IQD rigs, steamies, TNT, 15 mil wafters. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've had good success here on them. We're sticking to it. So I don't know if you pick this up on the camera, but basically, if you can see these little swines, these little coots, little, not that one, there's some birds there somewhere. I don't know if it's coming up on the camera. But basically about a foot, two foot off the reed, found a nice stony area over there. So we've put one on that spot with a nice little bag of maybe 10, 10, 15 mil boilies, some broken off, some crushed, some whole. That one's over there. And then the other one will take you for a little stroll. We've got this nice little bay area. Bay area. So I've managed to get a rod right just about there. Kind of in the gap between that tree and this tree. A nice little gap in there. Probably never be able to cast it like that again. But I nailed it. But whether it's nailed for good or not, who knows. But that's where the second rod is. So that is the lie of the land. I'm down here. It is currently... What day is it today? It's currently Thursday, so we've gone cheeky. We've chucked in some weekdays because I only ever normally come weekend fishing at the weekends. But let's chuck in some weekday action. Might be a bit quieter, a bit more space, a bit more choice of swims. Kind of paid off. But fingers crossed we can get back into some of them 40s because if you've seen our recent vlogs down here, not the last one, but the one before that, me and Tony banged in some 40s each. It was very good times. Tony was in this swim at that occasion. He actually got his 40, if I'm not mistaken, in the bay. If you are new around here, bonjour. Please feel free to subscribe. Hopefully you'll enjoy this content and want to see more of our videos. And if you're an existing subscriber, hello there, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Keep it up. That's that's that's, that's me for now. Fingers crossed you get some updates. Uh, fingers crossed we don't blank because uh, have I blanked an old pepper before? Possibly. No, I haven't. No. So fingers crossed we don't start a trend now. And hopefully we get some fish. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a bit. Got myself a brain. So I'm not happy about it. Tench. No, it's a bream. Cheers. Right, yo, people, we got fish number one. We've not weighed it yet. That's a beautiful mirror, so we'll pick it up. Have a little gander. Got quite a few bit of red, red like birthmark action on it and some other bits, but look at this bad boy. What we thinking? Late thirties, maybe? Maybe touching forty? Whatever it is, I'm delighted. So we get it on the tripod. I'll have a little way. Call that 39, don't you? 
Well, I'm going to call that a 39 pounder. Get in. Well, there we go, people. Well, that ain't a bad start, is it? Eh? A 39 pounder. It weren't even. What's it been? I don't know. That rod ain't been in the water that long. Maybe hour, hour and a half, maybe two at the push. I'm not really sure. I've lost. Oh, I don't know how long I've been here already, to be honest. But what a start. It's my second biggest ever fish, you know what I mean? 39 pounds. I'm going to need to check the, uh, the footage and all the excitement there. I'm not, I didn't really, really take a good close look at that. But it weren't a PB, so a bit disrespectful, really. But it was definitely, I think, 39 pounds. I'll have to check that and put it down here, what I think it was. But I'm just going to call it 39. So that is a beaut. And that was the rod where them coots were smashing it about. It was actually quite a bizarre situation. So I was in the biv, chilling, had a little beep on the rod. I'm like, oh, hello. Look out, no, coots are all over it, brilliant. So I get that stupid little carp life red torch thing out. I'm over here trying to z -z 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 put them off. They weren't feeling it. They were smashing it, going down on the spot constantly. And I'm just stood there watching. And suddenly they all get spooked and I'm like, oh, hold up. This could be a fish in the area. And then I look down and my, my line's going. But it's because I was in the div, I've turned the volume on the receiver right down because I was, I was next to it. I hear it. I look down, boom, Rod's having it. Strike into it. We got ourselves a 39 pound mirror. So that was pretty fabulous. On day one, we're into a 39 pound. I just go home now, I reckon. But it's feeling good. I mean, it is currently middle of May. I was very cautious and hope wary that they could be spawning. But the last few days, it's cooled right down. It's been raining quite a bit today. No signs of anything happening. I asked them in the shop. No indications that are on it yet, so I think where it's quite a big stretch of water, it's not quite been hot enough to warm it up yet, so I think we've nailed it time-wise because, as I say, it's going to be raining on and off all today. Tomorrow looks like it's going to be kind of dry but shady, not hot. So I reckon I might have just nailed it in terms of a couple more days of hot sun, they would have been on it. These coats are doing my Swede and they're still all on my spot. But anyway, very happy with that, 39 pound. Mocha Scrazzi, stay tuned for some more. people so update there's been absolutely nothing going on really no more bites no more indications no sighting of fish nothing absolutely died off so we're gonna make a few changes just because why not got to try something so we've put out I put out two snowman rigs out there so we've still got the I don't know we've still got the TNT steamies wafer on there but then I put that on top of a 15 mil Pro stim liver hard hook bait because they've got a lot of aroma going on and it worked well. It's a nice little wafter, so we've put that on both of them. We've got one on the spot over to the left where I caught my previous fish, and another one right hand side, kind of in the middle of the channel ish area, and then just scattered probably about 20 freebies over each one. So Fingers crossed we get something out of that. If not, it's looking like it might be a one fish session. But if that's the case, I'm pretty chuffed still with a 39 pounder. Up to a few weeks ago, that would have been my PB by a long way. Well, not a long way. That would have been my PB. So yeah, this is my final evening. I'm off, the, off tomorrow morning, so it is now about half four in the afternoon. So if nothing happens between now and then, it's going to be a bit depressing because I'd love to get a second carp in the net. As much as I'm delighted with one, I need two. Radio people, it's all getting a bit exciting. You can see over in that reed line. There. Where there's a slight gap or a bit of ruckusing. I'm watching on and off and there's definitely a fish in there. If it's the same one, then a fish jumped out here twice and it looks an absolute G unit. I had a rig kind of over there. I, I had the rig kind of out here somewhere, so I'm not, not too close to that, two foot away. 
So I've risked it for a biscuit, took that rod out, used that bit of margin over there to gauge the distance, thwacked it, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I couldn't have got it any better in that spot if I tried. And the beauty of it is I've still seen the fish moving since, so. I think it's like still there now. But I'll show you this footage on my phone, I took that. You can see it smashing around in there, so there it is. Still in there. So, if we're gonna get a fish now, I think that's the one. So I managed to nail that one in there. And then just along on the right here, we've got another one right along that margin. So it comes that, comes that way, boom. If I don't catch that fish, then it's on a diet, because I've put a nice little snowman rig right where it is. So fingers crossed, we get ourselves a nice last evening, beautiful conditions, fish. And if it's the one that I saw that jumped out twice, it could be a whopper, because it was a big fish I saw jump out twice. Fingers crossed, you see me in a bit. If nothing else does happen, this will be the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed the carp. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and stick around with us. And if you're an existing viewer, thank you for watching. Always appreciate your support. Feel free to click the like button and share if you really enjoyed it. Keep those lines wet. Well.